Nervous Neighbors. That sums up the situation in Kahala. Area lawmakers hosted a meeting tonight to talk about the plans a Japanese billionaire has for the area. Key ITV Force Catherine Cruz was there and joins us now with new information. Catherine. Well, you know, a museum and botanical gardens is what Jinshiro Kawamoto has talked about publicly. He told KITV he's putting together a private museum on Kahala Avenue. But area residents worry they can't trust what he says. A small but vocal group turned out to hear what people had to say about Kawamoto's plans for a possible museum. The Japanese tycoon is sitting on dozens of properties buying key beachfront parcels to do as he pleases. Neighbors have sold out neighbors here. And bottom line, he is a neighbor, and he's a bad neighbor. Others worry about the hazards of dilapidated conditions of adjoining properties. It's all of those run-down homes that are hanging uh, wires, electrical problems that are all cause of fire. It's not only the aesthetics, it's danger. Clearly, some residents are frustrated. We cut our grass, we cut our coconut trees, we take care of our properties, we paint our houses, and we do interior, uh, interior decorations and take care of the properties. This guy does nothing except tear down walls, let houses go into deer tear, and he does nothing for this community. And they vented some of that anger at lawmakers. How long is this going to take? It takes the neighborhood to get together and get rid of this vehement called Kalamoto. Come on, folks, stand up and have some guts here. If this is a public museum, he would, uh, it would be very difficult to build it in a residential area. But what people may not realize is that if it is simply a private museum, as Kawamoto has said it would be, there's probably very little anyone can do. If he has a private by invitation only in his home, it is not an issue at all. That's his privilege. And when we last talked to Kawamoto, he was planning to show off his collection of sculpture and pottery sometime in February. We'll just have to see what materializes then. Laura.